So let's look at how to create these waveforms because you know they are quite interesting and obviously I mean I have no idea how I did this waveform but obviously all the others have some geometric quality and it's not necessarily obvious how they were created but they're obviously very difficult to create with just painting by hand or drawing by hand. So let's start with this one because that one is simple and it doesn't require much knowledge of the editor. You just do this and then you create that part here. And then in this editor, uh, you choose the rotate tool and you obviously just rotate this here. And that is the waveform. So that was easy. However, in order to do these waveforms, there's a new concept that I have left for this video to explain. And that is the concept of guide curves. So first we start by creating just an array of uh, these uh, cosine segments here. And if we started from scratch, it would look like this. Right, and then we just do this and we go into it. We can just fill it up, but that's tedious. So we go in the next editor, we take the uh, multiply tool, and we do this, and then uh, obviously we have like the base for the first curve, also for this curve, and for that curve. And what I do now is I copy it and so I have it for for later. You know what? I just insert a L curve here and I paste that there. Right, so then I have it for later. Um, and in order to to have these these are now eight cycles of a cosine waveform, in order to have them fade. I use a different curve, a second curve. So, and magically, this curve already looks like it should be because that was in the safe preset, of course. But um, this is a curve that you can work on just like any other curve. You can split it up like there. You can take the points, you can move them around, right? You can make more points. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can use all the tools. Um, yeah, so obviously, yeah, that's uh, it's just another curve. But it's not a curve that you hear. It's a curve that you use to edit other curves. We will soon see also that you can hear them in a certain way. So um, let's go back to where it was, like this. Uh, so with I think selected. You have these new entries here in the right click menu, and uh, the curve that was formerly there is created with max2. And there it is. So now all the points are, are uh, well, pretty much scaled down below the, below the, the guide curve. And now when I go back here, you can switch. You can switch back and forth between the two, and uh, I think I still have this copied. So let's use this one to create this curve next, or we create another. No, no, let's let's go in here. So this is the same thing, right? So you just uh, uh, paste, or you go in here and you cut above. Right, and then you have this curve. And here's the same. Uh, you paste the original curve, which is this curve. Didn't have to save it there at all. You switch on the guide curve and you cut below. Yeah, and that's the curve that was there before. So uh, with guide curves, you can um, uh, you can manipulate uh, other curves. You can also um, 
if you want to you can take a part of the curve let's say I wanted to create a, a like a triangle shape or something here uh, like this and this and this and I wanted to insert this into the other curve I can make a selection I just got the yeah like this and then you can print to pop and then this is this triangle is inserted in the other curve right mm, so it's very powerful to to uh, to create like little micro shapes like something part of an envelope or like a rhythmic thing and you want that shape in your envelope you create it in the guide curve you move it to where you want it you punch it through that's what you can do there and let's have a look at because it's it fits at this curve that's um, uh, quite simple as well and uh, let's uh, let's first create uh, the base of it uh, that's obviously a square wave and it starts high here. Yeah. So it's like this shape and like here and like this, right? And we take the multiply tool again. We go from and I want the other selection. Yes. Whoop. And we just multiply. And that didn't work because we're still selecting. Select and multiply now. So that's the base. And then we create a curve like um, that was like a looked like a, a toothpaste, piece of toothpaste, right? So um, we delete those points and we do this we go somewhere here and we do this right and now we do cynomatic oh, i didn't do this one i didn't do this one that's oh, maybe i have to do it like this no for some reason it didn't do this one no oh, yeah okay then I simply do this uh, actually what does it look like like this and like this a eh, small glitch I might have to fix something <laughs> and again so a cut above or oh, actually other way around I cut below No, that's what I obviously did. I want to cut above. Oh, there, yeah, that's what I wanted. And now, because we're, I can switch the handles off. And I flip this, and I flip it again, in Y direction. And now I cut above. Or right, cut below. Uh, cut below. Yeah. And that's pretty much the shape that we originally had. Yeah, almost. Mm. Then this one is basically uh, something I've already showed. It starts with a sine wave and then splits the two points. And I can show that we can actually split both points at once, which I haven't done yet. Uh, and that is actually again um, uh, a form of phase distortion. So I've got just these two points and I use the split tool here and I just split it up and I don't know where it was. Uh, at some point it looks, ah, at some point it gets too far and it moves over. Okay. Let's say here somewhere, 
And then if you wanted to go crazy about it and make it like a real proper rectangle sound, you go here, yeah, like there, and like there, and where's the middle? It's somewhere here, and there, and let's put this on it. This pretty much sounds like square wave, and if you zoom in, right, and here, warp, and warp, and here, you get the harmonics. Yeah, so this is pretty much how these waveforms are done. This is just a, uh, uh, like a, yeah, that's what this is quite simple and I won't do the same, but I will do something similar uh, just by painting this and that. And then there was something like this in here, right? And then this was somehow rounded off and that's something we do here. So um, first we, uh, Put this here and this there. Oh, that's too much. Well, maybe still there. Which else? And then we use the cinematic here. There. That's roughly what it was like. It's just I think it started here. It was a little bit wider, but that's the general idea. And this one again, no idea how I did that one, but yeah, probably just randomly clicked around and. Sinomatic'd it, and I can do the same. I can just do this and then yeah. Yeah. and was it like that? I don't know. And then one can also beautify, that's even rounder. Or uh, simplify takes away points, right? Uh, like when you have got something like this, right? And you already you already know that you can drop a couple of these points into this, and you you simplify, and then points will get removed. But the curve it tries to preserve the curve. Can't always do that, but you know, like. Um, here, if you're going to get rid of this point, you will not be able to... Well, almost. Well, okay, yeah, it's a little bit, a little bit crooked here, you know. But, yeah, I can do that. Mm. Okay, so this is the point of actually using the editor for a couple of things. Let's see what we can do here as well. Um, oh, yeah, this is... I mean, this is always kind of a favorite, right? So. Somehow, so I get a bit of noise on my headphones. I don't know if that's a bug in the software or maybe just me. <laughs> um, good. So this is this was the third part where I introduced guides, and uh, you can actually you can actually switch through them with uh, G on the keyboard. There's a couple of keyboard uh, shortcuts for a couple of things and with shift G you swap back and front and when you G it, when the guides in the background, the guides go off, uh, which is cool. And that's it for the third part and in the fourth part we might talk about the oscillator itself. Yes.